Hi, my name's Aaron Carpenter, and I'm here to help you get the most out of your NDIS plan by having the information you need. My experience with the scheme is both personal and professional as an NDIS participant and a provider within the scheme. This information is brought to you by AVDO, the Australian Federation of Disability Organisations. AVDO is a disabled people's organisation. That means most of their members and workers are people with a disability. AVDO works with national and state disability advocacy organisations run by and for people with disability and their families, representing Australians with disability. Disability Loop is run by AVDO. It is your go-to online resource for NDIS news, information, updates and events. You can download fact sheets about this presentation and all the others in the series too from www.disabilityloop.org.au. You can get a hard copy fact sheet with the information from this presentation by contacting AVDO by email at office at avdo.org.au or call toll free 1800 219 969. When you're an NDIS participant, you will hear about reviews of your plan. This can mean a couple of different things, so let's have a look at that. First up is a plan review, which is sometimes called scheduled plan review. This is a meeting between you and your NDIS representative about a month before the end of your current plan period. At this meeting, you can review your current plan and discuss your next plan. This is pretty standard and as the date for your review is noted on your plan, you can be ready and prepared for this discussion. Mark the date down and if you haven't heard from your NDIS representative by two months prior to your plan end date, contact them or the NDIS contact centre to discuss scheduling the plan review meeting. Your plan review is an opportunity for you to discuss with your NDIS representative if your supports are working for you and if they are helping you work towards and achieve your goals. Depending on your preference, a plan review can be done face to face or over the phone. You are welcome and able to include a family member, friend, advocate or other support person in the meeting. It's your choice. You may need to provide assessments or reports from some of your service providers for your plan review meeting. This is to show how your supports and services from them are helping you achieve your plan goals. These reports can also make recommendations for supports and services you should have in your next plan. If you are looking for recommended technology or services, make sure to get quotes or cost estimates where possible. The longer the time period a quote is valid, the better, as it can take a long time for the NDIA to approve quotes. Secondly, there is an unscheduled plan review. This is a meeting between you and your NDIS representative that takes place earlier than the date you were due to have your scheduled plan review meeting. It may be to discuss developing a replacement plan to your current plan. There is a number of reasons you might do this, including if your current plan is proving to be unsuitable in meeting your needs. You can also request an unscheduled plan review if you have a significant change of circumstances, such as a change in your support needs resulting from a change in your condition or changes with your informal supports. This sort of review can also happen if you are requesting a change in how your funding is managed. For example, moving from agency managed to self or other plan management. The third sort of review is called an internal review. This is a process that the NDIA undertakes if you're unhappy with a decision they have made about you and you've made a request that they reconsider that decision. Internal reviews are undertaken by an NDIA staff member who is not involved in the original decision. Internal reviews are also called a review of a reviewable decision or a RAWD. A common reason people apply for an internal review is that they disagree with the NDIA about the types of supports or amounts of funding that have been provided in their plan. You can make a request to the NDIA for an internal review by phone, email, post or in person. There is an application form on the NDIS website for requesting an internal review. You don't have to use this form, but it can help you describe why you want an internal review of the decision. When you ask for a review, explain why you think the decision is incorrect. If your request for an internal review is because you think certain support should have been included in your plan and weren't, your focus needs to be on describing why the supports meet the six criteria of reasonable and necessary. It is also important to clearly outline any expected risk of harm to yourself or others if you do not receive the supports you're requesting. To help you do this, you can provide supporting documents with your application. These documents could be from people such as a doctor, psychologist or occupational therapist. 
They can help you explain why the support is reasonable and necessary for yourself. When you are notified about an NDIA decision, you get your plan with its plan approval letter. You will also get information about how to request an internal review. It's important to remember that an application for an internal review must be made within three months of you receiving the NDIA's notice of a decision. If you are still not happy with the internal review of the decision, you can apply for Administrative Appeals Tribunal. The AAT is separate from the NDIA and is an independent tribunal. But you cannot ask the AAT to review an NDIA decision until the NDIA has completed its internal review and issued its decision. This should happen within 28 days. Remember that you can now request plans of up to three years in duration. The key to extended plans over one year is that they are designed for participants who are in a stable situation with their support needs unlikely to change, confident in using their funding to achieve their goals, and focused on longer term goals such as learning new skills, employment, or becoming more active in the community. Even in the best of circumstances, unexpected things can happen and you might find that you wish to make a formal complaint about your dealings with the NDIA. You can make a formal complaint at any time to the NDIA. This is not the same as requesting an internal review. For example, you might want to complain that your request for an internal review is taking too long for it to be looked at, or the handling of your queries by the NDIS representatives is not satisfactory, or you're unhappy with something else to do with the NDIS operations. To make a complaint about the NDIA, go to the website www.ndis.gov.au and hit the contact us link where there is information about feedback and complaints. You can also make a complaint over the phone or in person at the NDIS office, or send an email to feedback at ndis.gov.au. In Australia, it is illegal to penalise anyone who exercises their right to complain. So you don't have to worry about your supports from the NDIS and them being impacted or affected by making a complaint. If you need help to submit a complaint about the NDIA, or with a request for an internal review, support is available through organisations that provide independent disability advocacy. Information about independent disability advocacy organisations is available online at disabilityloop.org.au. As well as your right to complain, you also have the right to be safe and to receive quality services from the providers and workers that you have chosen to support you under the NDIS. The NDIS Quality and Safeguards Commission known as the NDIS Commission for short, is an independent agency that has been set up to ensure that the supports you receive from service providers are good quality and safe. The NDIS Commission makes sure that the providers are following the rules in the NDIS Code of Conduct and handles complaints about the quality and safety of NDIS supports and services. You can make a complaint about services by calling the NDIS Commission on 1800 035 544 or you can fill out the complaint form on their website, www.ndiscommission.gov.au. That's all on reviews and complaints for this session. Go online for more info and don't forget to have a look at some of the other videos in this series about making the most of your NDIS plan. You can also find more information and downloadable handouts from this and other videos at disabilityloop.org.au. And remember, for the most recent and detailed information, always use the NDIS website at www.ndis.gov.au.